Cat Boat we could drive. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with Michael Fitness. Reactions and Gig Economy. I'm not reacting. You just reacted? You just, didn't you see him react? I mean, did, he, did, he, no, he just reacted, didn't he? No, you can use that as a, to look up my channel, though. Okay, all right. Well, whoever the hell he is. Um, down here working on a rental property that literally I had a, there was a hoarder up in there. And we're headed to the dump with the first load of crap that we're taking there. Anyway, be that as it may. Da 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 da. Damn, Gina. Gina's been just blowing up my phone here for the last few moments here. I was talking to my boys, Q, Mike J, uh, Jet, and uh, PC76, and I just kept getting da 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 da. Damn, Gina. And she's letting me know. She basically popped me upside the head and said, Hey, Debo. Not Debo from Friday. But Best Debo time. Samuels, the guy who ran rough shot on our ass. He, 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 oh my God. He, he, a guy, no, no, don't forget. It's a guy, if we didn't get Mark Cooper, somebody could have drafted. Uh, yeah. At but the it, same pick. But, but if your aunt had nuts, she would have been your uncle too. Okay. Um. Debo Samuels just basically said, you know what? I'm done with you mother humpers. I'm out of here. Now, if it's me, I hope he goes to the AFC. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be nice if he went to the AFC? You know, like Devontae Adams, he went to Denver and stuff. You know, uh, Russell Wilson, he went to Denver. I'm oh. sorry, not Denver, to the Raiders. Oh. But Russell Wilson went to, to Denver and uh, Devontae Adams went to the Raiders and stuff. Wouldn't it be nice if... Uh, Debo went to the AFC so we wouldn't have to worry about him like in the playoffs like we did this year. So you, you were bringing up an interesting point here, Mike. You were saying. They were talking about on the radio. You were today. talking about on the radio, yes. Him and DJ Metcalf were at the same pick that we would have had. Well, we well actually, DK, DK was actually after Charlie Dakota Whiteside. Y'all saying who? That was who the Eagles picked up in the second round. The very next pick yeah, was DK Metcalf. The thing is that the pick they would have had, they were both there. Well, right. So right. we could have we could have had two two stars that would have been cheap. Um, sure. at, va at value. That is, if, but see, you know that, that if, retrospect. Yeah, that's easy to say now. Well, we could have had, but see, people didn't expect them to do what they did. See, that's because, see, like, the, the Eagles thought that Charlie Dakota Whiteside was going to be like Debo Samuels. But, see, they were stupid in the same way they thought that Rhaegar was going to be better than, say, Justin Jefferson, who was drafted, mind you, the very next guy. So so here's here's the lesson yeah, here. The lesson here is if the Eagles draft the wide receiver, draft one right behind it because they'll probably be a superstar and, and the Eagles will be a dud. Who, mind you, may be drafting a wide receiver in the first round. So you bring picks. up you bring up an interesting point here because there's two rules of thought. Because, you know, you see that the wide receivers are like, you know, pay me my mother my mother humping money. Okay? My mother see I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. But pay me that money, right? So you're looking at, you know, Devontae Adams and Tariq Hill and those guys, twenty nine, thirty million dollars a year. With this class being a class that has a lot of wide receivers in it, maybe it behooves you to say, you know what? I'm going to let these guys go. I and, and get somebody in the draft. And get somebody cheaper. in the draft that, you know. That's a value pick. Because, you know, quite frankly, you know, the, the, but here's the problem, though. Here's the problem. A couple of problems. Actually, now, when you look at Amari Cooper, who, by the way, you, you know what really, really eats me with Amari Cooper? Every year with Amari Cooper, Amari Cooper can never work out in the offseason. You know that, right? OTAs? Yeah, you know it gets me to the way you act. No, no, too. no. So yesterday, yesterday ago. the Browns started their OTAs. And guess who's there working out? Leg all up in the air, you know, running and doing. He's able to work out now. Ain't that some shit? At least not okay. the Browns this year. But in retrospect, you look at Amari Cooper's deal at $22 million. It's actually not that bad anymore. Not when you see, you know Debo Samuels, when he gets traded, he's going to be another monster contract. All of a sudden, you know, $30 million is the new $20 million, or 20 Yeah, exactly. So basically, basically what quarterback money used to be. 
Right, exactly. Because here, here let, let me give you guys a little little thing here. So by now you probably heard that DirecTV is going to go to, um, not DirecTV, the Sunday ticket is going to go to Apple TV. We're hearing it's going to be about two and a half billion dollars that they will be paying for Sunday ticket, which is up from the one point five billion dollars. Okay, we're going to do some math here. Take a billion dollars. If you got your calculator or if your phone, go ahead. Take a billion dollars. Put it on all those zeros. Divide by thirty-two. I think it comes out to somewhere around thirty-one point something million dollars. Okay. Now, take that 31, because it's 32 teams, and multiply it by 0.48, because that's the player share, okay? What that comes out to is $15 million. So, that one, just that one deal, that one deal that starts out in 23 is $15 million more on the salary cap mm. for the players, See, all of the deals that have that have been made for the new collective bargaining agreement don't start kicking into 23 and 24. And so you looked at what used to be like billion dollar deals for the networks are now like two, two and a half each. And so you all of a sudden start seeing cha-chang, 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 how much money is going to escalate on the NFL salary cap. It's going to be huge. You know, we're sitting here thinking about, oh my God, thirty million dollars for a wide receiver. Two years, it may be forty. That's how crazy it is. And so, in retrospect, where it is, we have Stephen Jones, who's like, you know, we can't pay that kind of money. It's totally short-sighted in thinking because this is why so many teams are putting these voidable years and making the contracts this year so small to get players on the roster knowing that the cap is going to escalate big time in the next couple of years. Everybody, of course, Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones didn't get that memo. And that's why he's all, we can't spend, you're going to be a cap, no, yeah, you'd be a cap hell if we we're going to have another pandemic and, and no fans in the stands. Yeah, but you got that. gambling money, you got now Apple TV's getting Sunday ticket, you know, hey. you got the new Thursday night package where they're going to be paying Troy Aikman and Joe Buck to do there. ESPN's paying more money. I, I mean, you got games that are be going on in England and Germany Mexico. and Mexico. There's so much money that's going to be coming in that this whole thing about the sky is falling on the salary cap that Stephen Jones is feeding us is really bullshit. So we'll see who trades for Debo. I'm hoping it's somebody in the AFC. You got anything to add? All right, well, we're going to uh, FedEx Field. I mean, the dump. Same thing. No, no, right? no, 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 it's not. Huh. This is nice with the Yeah, field. actually, this is a clean dump. <laughs> it's a clean dump. It's not falling apart either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you, you know what? Yeah, and the people that work there smile too. Yeah. So, peace.